All right, hi. This is going to be my second um, book suggestion video. And I think this time I will discuss the book a little bit more because I want to um, basically make you more interested in possibly buying it. Okay, this one is The Romanoffs, the final chapter by Robert K. Macy. Now, I actually haven't finished reading this book yet, but I only have a little bit left. It's a fantastic book. It's about um, the search and discovery of the Romanoff family's uh, bones. They were the monarchy in Russia. The revolution happened, they were imprisoned, and then they were all killed. And this book goes into how they were killed, what happened to their bodies, how they were discovered, <coughs> how it was um, certain that the bodies that they found, was when, by the time they found them, they were all bones, that it was actually them, all the scientific teams that were involved, the, in, the investigators, how the Russian government acted, and that was also discussed some of the people who pretended to to be a relative of them or to be some of them. There's two of the bodies weren't found. So there are some of those coming forward and say, yes, I'm that person and that. And he talked about one main one who did fool a lot of people into thinking about it, but then they're proving that it, she wasn't one of them. And of course, this discussed um, other branches of the Romanov family who said that they are the now control of the throne and all that. Um, I mean, there's so much more in this. And this involved a lot of people from when they were killed to when they were finally identified as being that they're who they are. And I really greatly enjoyed this book so far. Like I said, I only have a little bit left. And um, this is a book you definitely got to um, get. See a close up. That's all of them. And there's actually quite a bit amount of people that was involved in this. Um, doing testing, like DNA testing on their bones to make sure they who they were. There was American teams, there was British teams, there was German and Russian. So there's a lot of people involved. But um, I was pretty impressed with this book. Enough that I probably will eventually reread it over again once in a while I do that, the books I really like. And this is a good historical book. Now let me um, read you the description of what the story is about. Uh, in July 1991, nine skeletons were exhumed from a shallow mass grave near uh, Ekaterinburg, Siberia, a few miles from the infamous cellar room where the last Tsar and his family had been murdered 73 years before. But were these the bones of the Romanovs? And these were their remains, revealed finally after over seven decades, where were the bones of the two younger Romanovs supposedly murdered with the rest of the family? <coughs> the Romanovs, the final chapter, Provides the answers to recount the horrifying moments of slaughter, and uh, I just want to point out that they were they were killed pretty badly in the in the brutality that happened even after they were dead. I mean, they tried burning the bodies, they tried throwing acid on it, they tried using grenades. It's just horrible. Let me get back to this. We got the hor uh, horrifying moments of slaughter, revealing the guilt and the cover up by Lenin and his lieutenants, and then describing in dramatic, suspenseful detail. The fascinating, ultimately successful efforts in post-communist Russia to discover the truth. This unique story, written almost as a detective thriller by Pulitzer Prize winner Robert K. Macy, presents a colorful panorama of contemporary characters, beginning with two enterprising Russians who, against tremendous odds, finally found the secret burial place, documenting the key roles of U.S. Secretary of State James Baker, Russian President Boris Yeltsin, Great Britain's Prince Philip, and it's very actually it's a very interesting story when you read this, how they were involved and how they helped with um, this uh, investigation. And a report on the major scientific dispute between Russian experts and a team of Americans, including Dr. William Maples and Michael Bodden, a uh, fiercely antagonistic French expert whose finds, along with those of DNA scientists from Russia, America, Great Britain, uh, the Great Britain one was Peter Gill, and um, he was a he, he. I don't know if he's still alive or not. It's this book I think it was written about 20 years ago. No, I don't think it's that late. Well, anyways, doesn't matter. But um, he was actually shown a lot of great disrespect by some of the other scientists. Anyways, let me finish this. All contribute to and the result of the controversy, because two skeletons were missing from the site. All the tantalizing tales of resurrected pretenders again loomed large. Was Anna Anderson? She was the main one I was talking about that pretended to actually be one of the Romanovs. Celebrate for over 60 years in newspaper, books, and film. Really grand justice and Anastasia. Turned out she wasn't done by the great DNA work that uh, Peter Gill did. 
If not, who is she? The Romans found she ever answered this question too. Uh, Robert Case, Macy's class, Nicholas. Oh, okay. Alexander brought the Russian imperial family magnificently in life for millions of readers. It is natural, almost in inevitable, that this master storytelling historian should be the one to write the final chapter to this memorial tragic event. Anyways, that's what, what the crux of the book is about. So if you like histor history books, like I do, this is a book you're definitely going to want to read. Um, that's pretty much all I can say say about this so I hope you get I hope you get a chance to read it or if you want to. If you have any comments or questions put them below and if you do actually end up reading it after watching this video please put it below and let me know what you think of this book. Alright that's pretty much it. Um, I look forward to talking to you again soon. Bye everybody. Bye.